It's your boy Mike, aka Mr. Ray Sessions, and I'm here with the coldest, Shadow CV. What are you telling me, my broski? Come on, what are we saying, man? Big up Ray Sessions. We out here, man. COV, checking out the billboard. Yeah, man, big moves, big moves. Come on, man. So blessings, man. I'm very great. Thank you, man. How you feeling, man? How do you feel having your face, like, right in the middle of town? Do you know what? I think this is the first time I've been on a, uh, on a billboard, to be fair, on something like this, man. So I was gassed to come down and see it. Obviously, I was just saying to you earlier, it's been a, I ain't been down since it's been up here, man. So I've been, I've been excited to come and have a look. And yeah, it's sick, man. We got race sessions going in different with the promo. You know what I'm saying? Very sick, very sick. Come on, man. I appreciate that, man. It's mad. That's crazy, because obviously, like, your music had such an impact in the city already. So just, just to hear that, like, you, you haven't been on the billboard yet, it means a lot to me that I managed to, you know, you know, make that happen and it's just a great feeling for me as well as you deserve it for the work you've been putting for so long. I love that. I appreciate that, man. It's sick to hear stuff like that as well. Obviously, we've been about now for seven, eight years, you know what I mean, doing music in the city. So, yeah, it's sick to hear that we've had an impact on the music. And obviously, I was talking to you about this recently, man. Obviously, I've been watching what you guys have been doing over the last few years since you've transformed into Ray Sessions from back in the day, 2015. Shadow bro, talk to us man. I've seen you've been putting a lot of work lately man. The project you've done with Depsman recently was amazing man. Bringing him like Depsman back to live on the track like for me because obviously I was like into music way back when it was all about grime and I've seen him as one of the major major influences in the UK especially the sound out of London. Not out of London, it was out of the Midlands. Yeah, yeah. And that was, that's why it was for me it was meaningful and then when you told me that you were in the project and seeing the final outcome I was like Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, man, no, that was a sick thing to be a part of. It was um, it was spanned over the space of a couple of years, to be fair, working with um, Alison Depsman's mom, writing the lyrics, getting everything put together, all of the deep fake. It was like, yeah, about two years in the process. But yeah, very, very sick thing to be involved in and something that I'm like really proud of being involved in. Something completely different, do you know what I mean? And like so powerful and so like meaningful, to be fair. So yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, bro, that's 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 sick, bro. Like, I can't lie, bro. The project, the whole came out, and I feel like the impact it had was good, man. You also told me you went on the BBC One show, man. Could you tell us a bit more about how that experience felt from your perspective? Yeah, that was sick. Um, that was to do with the Depsman project as well. Obviously, they did kind of like a knife crime episode on the One Show. Uh, went to Alison's house, recorded there with the BBC, and yeah, just sick to see like a project like that getting like um, you know getting shown on the big stage. You know what I mean? Something important, something with a positive message. You know, the people need to hear. Do you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of badness going on within music at the minute, and it's nice to see a little something different on the other side. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that was sick. And yes, yeah, and it's always nice to be on the BBC, you know what I mean? Get a bit oh. of exposure and that's nice, man. It's, it's, it's good, so yeah, always good, man. Yeah, sick. Bro, that's amazing because like, you know, like let's, not everybody gets the chance to go on the BBC and on such a mainstream platform, yeah. as they say, on primetime TV. Although, although, although one thing I will say, it was supposed to come out after Christmas and it ended up coming out before and it was out on like one of the same nights as a World Cup game, you know what I'm uh, saying? So it kind of wasn't as, as, impactful. as impactful as I think it could have been, but Nevertheless, man, being on the mainstream BBC on that time of night on mainstream TV is, you know, it's, it's big. It's a good way to spread the message. So, yeah, man. Bro, nevertheless, bro, that's amazing. At the end of the day, not everybody gets a chance. And especially like you, as, you know, inspiring so many young artists in the city and beyond within your network who see like the work you've been putting in over the years and, you know, doing music videos from, you know, reaching like, big numbers on Spotify, etc. just getting attention, performing in numerous places, yeah, then yeah. doing the Deathsman project now on the BBC. Bro, it seems like the only way is up, channeling, channeling the energy in the right way and going <laughs> Yeah, man, nah, 100%, that's it. Listen, you know what, I've been like, I'll be the first to admit, man, over the years, I've kind of been, I've had, I've, I've, I've had consistent years and I've had inconsistent years where I haven't really, you know, dropped much music. But one thing that I'll always say is like, all the music I put out there, it's real, it's meaningful, it has an impact on people. And at the end of the day, if I don't release something for a year or two years, I know that what I released two years ago is still gonna be still gonna be meaningful and still gonna resonate with people, you know what I mean? So big up that guy as well and yeah, uh, <laughs> doing his thing. But yeah, yeah man, that's it bro, yeah, 100%. Just anyone that's out there starting music. I get asked, I work as a mentor at a school, I get asked all the time why I started, how to get started. And all you gotta do is just put yourself out there, you know what I mean? You know, you know yourself, we've been doing it since back in the day, man, from early days, so. Yeah, man, and it might not work straight away. It might not work for a couple of years, but if you really believe in it then and you keep work. doing it, eventually it'll work. Yeah, 100%, man. it will work. If you rather believe in yourself 
anything is possible. As they say, anything is possible tonight. Ha. <laughs> Anyway, bro, I must ask you, how did you find the whole process of the coldest bars? Like from hitting the studio, then, you know, uh, from there thinking about the video and then doing the video itself. Do you know what? It was sick. It was a sick process because, you know, like I say, me and you have known each other since like 2015, like yeah. seven, eight years now. And we probably hadn't linked up for a few years. It was kind of the first time we probably linked up in a while. So that was sick in itself sure. to see around the studio and what you've built. You know what I'm saying? That was sick to see that and to see the empire that you guys are building. You know, like proper sick, man. And I feel proud as well. I feel proud yeah, to yeah. see that, which I've said to you anyway, you know, off, co off camera. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sick, sick from start to finish, linking up with the producers, linked up with... Um, uh, C minus, uh, yeah. Fazman, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that was sick. Recorded it, written it on the spot. It was all just flowed. It was sick. Um, and then, yeah, obviously shooting a video with Ian, you know, sick, sick camera rig and that. You get me? Yeah. So yeah, man, doing everything professional. You know what I mean? Like race sessions, man. They're, they're they're doing it properly. They're leading the way right now. So yeah, man, sick. Yeah, bless, bro. I must say that my favorite shot from your episode was when I had to drive around you and then Ian was filming from inside, man. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was a see. mad... Bro, I had a headache. I was dizzy. <laughs> idea on the spot, though, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we come up with that on the spot. Like, I, th I feel like we had, um, we had done something before with... Um, when we did It's Not A Thing To Man and that back in the day and we kind of did something similar and that was like six, seven years ago and I've and I, seen that and, I, you know, we, we, we switched it up a little bit. So, yeah, man. You know, like, if you're an independent artist, there's often, like, the stigma of, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing everything myself. I'll produce myself, I'll engineer myself, I'll rec record it, then I'll publish it, then I'll market it myself. You know, I'll do everything myself. And sometimes, don't you feel like it's overwhelming? Because, like, you know, for example, for a process, like, cold as bars per se, it's like when you step in as a guest, you know, I don't have to focus on A, B, and C. I could just yeah, focus yeah, on no. being an artist. How I'm having this conversation now. Obviously, big up has to the one in the building, you know what I'm saying? Outside the building. But listen, I was just talking to him now and saying like the exact same thing. Like over the past year or two, I've been mixing a lot of my own music, recording at home, kind of just doing stuff on my own a little bit. And you know, it's good, it's good for some things, it's good to have it there, but you need to link up with people. You need to sort of take that out of your hands a little bit and just focus on being an artist sometimes or just focusing on one thing. Because I'm definitely like uh, the first person to admit that I'll probably try and do too much. And obviously that's what you have to do when you're independent, you know, but it's sick. It's sick to be able to get on a level with people like yourselves who are like-minded people who are trying to do the same thing. And when it flows, it just flows and it makes it so much easier because you're only having to focus on one thing. And that was a real like refreshing thing about doing that, you know, like that's that's what I, that's what I've said to you as well. I want to get a ray on the run. I want to do some more stuff for you guys because it means I can just be an artist and do the sickest freestyle. And then the other stuff gets handled by the videographer, mm -hmm. the producer, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, very, very sick. So it's good to have your own setup, especially when you want to get quick ideas and stuff. But always, you know, branch out, link up with people and yeah, and collaborate, man. That's what music's all about. It's a collaboration. So, yeah, they got race session. Bro. On that final note, the final message, one love. The only way is up. Let's get it.